Come on, Petra. We don't have all day. Jump! Jump! Come on. Just one dive. Uh, we even let you keep your clothes on. I mean, isn't it strange that you're the only girl who doesn't attend swim practice? Maybe she's uncomfortable around the boys. They might be able to get a glimpse of her boobs. <laughs> I don't see the guys going wild over some bee stings. Maybe she's a boy. <laughs> what? The three of you will die soon. So that way I can have a nice chuckle as well. <sighs> Fucking freak. Let's go. I don't want to get in trouble because of her.
I need a shower. I can't believe you're actually up this early. I need to visit a few bookstores. It's uh, for an article. I still can't believe you actually landed on that copywriter job. Come to think of it, I never saw you read anything. Let alone write. Marlo, I'm taking this opportunity seriously. Yeah, I'm eager to see how long it lasts this time. At the very least, it's from home. You don't move. I can't make coffee until you move. I have to leave for work anyway. I'm trying, Marlo. <sighs> Just don't wander off too far. You're still not familiar with the city. Can I help you? Uh, um, me? No, the ones who aren't visible to you. So, do you need help? Uh, yeah, I, um, I need a book. Well, you're in luck since I have a lot of them. Care to be more specific, maybe? Right, um, The Ways of a Fool by C.J. Baldwin. You're kidding, right? That book is no longer being produced. An original copy may be found online, but they are deemed one of a kind and extremely costly. <laughs> Shit. Uh, sorry for bothering you. 
Why do you want that book anyway? From what I've heard, it's not all that remarkable. It's about an elderly man and how God restored his happiness. Nothing memorable and definitely not worth the hassle. I'm supposed to write an article on it and uh, how it affected people's beliefs. <laughs> so you're not begging God to give you happiness? To be frank, I'd say that God has stood me up a long time ago. But not that God has anything to do with my happiness in the first place. What a sad way to dwell on one's life. Perhaps some people are simply unworthy of happiness. Maybe some people just need to learn how to be happy on their own. You should stop by more often. So that we can learn to be happy together. Me. <laughs> no, I'm still talking to all of the folks who are invisible to you. Oh, uh, okay. I'm I'm Victor. Petra. Hey, wait. Want to grab a coffee with me, Victor? What's your name? Friend. Uh, I'm guessing that's what you wanted to know. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, thanks for the coffee. So, you did it! Congrats! For what? <laughs> no need to act coy. You received an invitation from the Ice Princess. I'm quite sure you're the first one to accomplish that. Invitation? <laughs> oh, this is hilarious! You seriously have no idea who she is? <laughs> is she famous or something? Oh, so you could say. She works in this maid cafe, Little Zuzu. And believe me, they are not well known for the terrible coffee they offer. Maid Cafe? It's like Hooters, but for weebs. Her parents own the bookstore, so it's unusual to see her there helping. You would be surprised at how many guys come into that bookstore daily hoping to find her. <laughs> oh, it's pathetic. But I suppose it was a lucky day for you. Perhaps God hasn't abandoned you after all. Okay, chill. How do you know all of that? I practically live in this bookstore. I've seen it all. And as for her, you could say we're childhood friends. But there's nothing romantic going on, <laughs> if that's what you're yearning for. Friends. I'm guessing you don't have any. Is it that obvious? I don't usually judge books by their covers, but you... It's as if you're a single sheet of paper with the word agony scrawled all over it. Good to know. <laughs> that is not meant as an insult, Victor. Others hide behind their covers, but you! Um... Give me your phone. Uh... So I can give you my phone number. If you like, I can also help you with your article. N no you don't have to. But that's what friends are for. You must love books. I'm a writer, so 
You might say I'm partial to them. Must be great. To be a writer? To be passionate about something. Oh, you're back. Surely you remember Ksenia. We went to the same high school. It's good to see you. Uh, what brings you here? She lives in an apartment just under us. Um... Well, after graduating, I moved to the city. How are you doing, Victor? He just moved in a few days ago. <laughs> you never mentioned anything about that. You were absent for almost two weeks. And honestly, it was something that came out of the blue. He was called back for a copywriting job here in the city. Although, he is working from home for the first month. In the end, we made a big deal about the move for no reason. What's going on? Are you hurt? I... Um... <laughs> Thanks for feeding Chai while I was gone. I'm pretty sure he got fatter. <laughs> He's purring like crazy ever since I got back. Already closed. I... I didn't know where else to go. I'm... I, I'm sorry. You probably think I'm kind of a pathetic creep. I'm just gonna leave. No, you finally arrived. Don't worry. The first night following death is often the most difficult. Uh, what? There's no need to be afraid. You're safe here. As long as you obey one rule. You can't peek around as the dark beasts will see you. Never look at them and never speak to them. Don't even think about them. Else they will hunt you down. <laughs> oh, you're so frail. Oh, it's like you're one gigantic stinging scar. Let me help you. So, you live here too? Are you feeling better now? Are 
Are you gonna mess up his life as well? Uh, okay, look, I'm not sure what you're on about. Just do me a favor, Xenia, and die. She's going to be late again. What a surprise. <laughs> I'm curious when they'll fire her. Lana. I'm joking, of course. You don't have to defend her all the time. She doesn't even like us. <laughs> As if they'd fire their mascot. Shouldn't you have left by now? Oh, but Hazel, won't you miss me? You're aware that Petra forbids you from being here. <laughs> I don't care. Besides, what's that feral rat going to do about it? Complain to the manager and get you kicked out. Again. As if they dare to evict a superstar like me. You were in one sold out play, Luca. Oh, but those are simply my humble beginnings. Calm down, Shakespeare, you'll break something. The table will shatter, but it will never break as much as my heart. Such a little bird, but what devastation it caused. Maybe he was a raven all along, feasting on my kindness. <laughs> <laughs> and they laugh at my pain. Oh, little bird, when will you come? He's quiet. So, um, how was your day? Boring. <laughs> Take a step with me, looking for the way. 